All right, guys. What is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the Rival NHL channel. A big day today. We get week two MSPs for the trade deadline event. So you see there on the screen, five new MSPs. We get a Lindholm, a Jones, a Guerra, a Domi, and an Anthony Mantha. Outside of that trade deadline cards, Boston, they somehow got better at the trade deadline. They looked unstoppable before. Now they look even more unstoppable. They pick up Orlov and Hathaway. Orlov gets an 89, Hathaway an 88. More trade deadline cards. These players have not been traded yet, but they might be. Patrick Kane, he might be going to the Rangers, in which that case, I've been a big Rangers fan my whole life. Just to let you guys know, my whole life, huge, huge Rangers fan. Outside of that, McKay probably getting shipped away. He would go up to a 91. Same thing with all of these cards. They would get a plus two if they actually do get traded. Primetime cards headlined by a 92 overall Braden Point. And the cool thing about these cards, it says enjoy custom build primetime cards with attributes based on real life performance. Community request. Awesome, awesome looking cards. This batch headlined by a 94 overall Saku Koivu, but we got five, five cards, 90 overall or better. All right, let's take a look at these cards, starting with the MSPs. We'll go ahead and take a look at, what do we got here? 94 overall Max Domi. If I were to build a Chicago Blackhawk team, this event helped me. We got Domi and a Jonesy. So Max Domi, 5'10", 194 pounds. He is a left-handed center. He's got Workhorse or Distributor, Applesauce, Magician, and Wingman. I like to see that. So he can get a plus two on speed, plus two on agility, and a plus two on acceleration if you do Workhorse. Superstar Abilities, No Contest, Truculence, Wheels, and Elite Edges. So he could have a 96 on acceleration, 96 on speed, 98 on agility. You pair that up with Wheels and Elite Edges, this card would fly. His shooting attributes, 93s on the accuracy, 95 on the power, his hands, a maxed out 99 on deking and passing. Checking in defense as well, guys, does not let up. A 99 on body check, 95 on strength, 95 stick check, 94 awareness, 92 shot block. All right. Next up, we get a Bill Guerra card, 6'2", 220 pounds. He is a right-handed forward, which I love to see. I feel, feel like we need more great ones in this game, right? 6'2", 220. Big boy, flat his own buzzing. You can pair that up with Dangle City or Magician and then Distributor. So you can get a plus one. So you can get a plus one on acceleration with that. You can get a plus two on speed with flat his own. So that could reach a 94 and a 93. Abilities, no contest, truculence, close quarters, and a zone ability of born leader. Looks like a pretty good card, man. Again, he's 6'2", 220. He is a power forward. So checking in defense, look insane for sure but just not that man his hands he's got 99 hand eye 98 passing 99 puck control 97 offensive awareness so very good hands his shooting 92 accuracy 95 on his power next up seth jones a right-handed defenseman if you need one probably a good option distributor or applesauce he's got protector or well-rounded and then buzzing for his abilities, Heat Seeker, Tape to Tape, 1T, and Stick Him Up. Love Stick Him Up. Jonesy is a two way defenseman, so all the way through, very nice looking attributes. Again, his acceleration could go up to a 93, which matches his speed of a 93. Agility, 96. His balance could reach a 98 there. His shooting, 97 on the power, 91, 92 on his accuracy. But take a look at his checking and defense, man. 95 body check, 96 strength, 98 awareness, 99s on shot block and stick check. And again, he's 6'4", 213. Now maybe you need a left-handed defenseman. Lindholm could be your answer. 6'4", 215. So righty, lefty. They kind of covered both here. He's got workhorse. So that acceleration could reach a 94. He's also got wingman or buzzing. So again, speed could go up to a 94. And then he's got gladiator. For his abilities, tape to tape, ice pack, elite edges, and his zone ability of shutdown. Skating attributes look nice. We take a look at his shooting, 95, 96 for the accuracy, 96, 97 for the power. So insane shooting attributes. Checking in defense also look awesome. 99s on the shot block and stick check, a 98 on the defensive awareness. 95 on the strength, 92 on the body check. Next up, we get an Anthony Mantha card. He is massive. He is massive. 6'5", 234 pounds, a left-handed forward. He's got spark, so his acceleration can reach a 93. He's also got light lamp and magician, so that agility can get a plus two. 
and then buzzing. His speed can go up one. Aura abilities, puck on a string, big rig, make it snappy, and a zone ability of close quarters. I think this card looks great considering he's 6'5", 234, acceleration, speed. What do we got there? 93, 92. Very agile with the 97. Also the balance 97. Then his shooting, 94 is on the accuracy, 97 for the power. Great looking card all the way around. A quick look at a few of these prime times. They're supposed to have custom builds, so I want to see what that means. It looks like he does have a 99 on the passing. Maybe that's what they mean there. Rating point is 5'11", 180 pounds. He's probably better off out on the wing, but he does have Thief. You get that face-off rating to a 95, so a very good face-off rating if you do want to put him at center. I just think the 5'11", 180, I'd prefer him out on the wing. Abilities, third eye, close quarters, and a zone ability of tape to tape. A good-looking card, man. Take a look at his shooting. Wow. Then we take a look at Chris Letang. Always a good option on defense. He's pretty quick out there. He's got flat of zone and well-rounded. A superstar ability of Heat Seeker. And as far as the custom build goes, I'm not sure on this card. But we take a look at his 90 prime time. And his 90, he's got third eye, elite edges, a zone ability even of 1T. His 91 only got Heat Seeker. And the top card to come out today, guys. A 94 overall Saku Koivu. 5'10", 181 pounds. He's got Distributor. And flat the zone. Four abilities, he's got tape to tape, born leader, and his zone ability of quick draw. So he's got a 99 face off rating with quick draw. He is a two way forward, so all the way through, man, he looks excellent. 94 on the acceleration, 95 on the speed, 95s also on balance, endurance, 93 on the agility. He's got 95s all the way through on his shooting, his hands, a low attribute of a 93. On his hand eye, he's got a 94 puck control, 97 deking, and 99s on passing and offensive awareness. 5'10", 181. With that being said, I usually like those types of guys out on the wing, but obviously he's got quick draw, 99 face off, so he could play the center for you. Other high overall here, a 93 overall Joel Otto. He's 6'4", 220 pounds, a right-handed center. He looks excellent. He's got buzzing and distributor, truculence, and a zone ability of big rig. 91's on acceleration and speed, 92 agility, 97 balance. For his shooting, 91 on the accuracy, 96 for his power hands. Not too bad, man. 91 deking, 93 puck control, 93 hand eye, 95 passing, 97 offensive awareness. Checking in defense look great. 98 strength, 93 body check, 91 aggression, 95 on the awareness, 94 on the shot block, and a 99 stick check with... A96 on the face-off rating. A really, really good-looking center here. And another good-looking center here in Tage Thompson. He is 6'6", 220 pounds. He's got spark and well-rounded. A superstar ability of make it snappy. John Carlson gets a 91. He's got light the lamp and flaw the zone. He is 6'3", 215 pounds. A superstar ability of wheels. I actually like how this card looks. Carlson plays good in this game, man. He's a two-way defenseman, so all the way through, he does... Look pretty solid. Really quick. Skip to the 87 overall. Pareko. He is 6'6", 228. Loved Pareko last year. That team builder that came out. Unfortunately, this one is 87. He's too slow. 85's on acceleration and speed. So I'll pass. What we're going to do now. You guys who watched yesterday's video. We opened up two power up icon choice packs we're doing one more here today let's do it all right guys so i actually just got done putting yesterday's video up and i have decided i just want to put five power up icons in this set right here in return we get another power up icon choice pack i debated you know powering them up to 86s trading in 386s for the 87 i'm only going to do that on my main account here on the alternate i'm just going to do this and fingers crossed we can get a Wayne Gretzky or my favorite card in Hockey Ultimate Team, Muriel Lemieux. Ah. All right, thank you. Let's get this, buddy. Muriel Lemieux, Wayne Gretzky. Did a Wayne before? I think you got a Wayne Gretzky last year, Balto. Here we go, card number one. 84 overall, Matt Sundin. That's not going to cut it, Balto. Card number two is... Nope, that's not what we want. Listen, if Balto can't get it, I don't know. I just don't know. 85. Okay. I might give up, but I also said that on the last video, and then 20 minutes after the video was up, I decided to do another one. So 
Will it actually be my last one? Probably not, but... Damn! I am having no luck on these. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up. Always helps out the channel, helps out the videos a ton. When you guys do that, drop a comment below. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.